start from pskiss.com and I would like to show you how to use PSKISS Outdoor Photography Toolkit. I prefer working in full screen mode with menu bar, so before I start, I hit the F key once. This centers the image on a gray background with the ability to scroll or move it around later. So, let's get started. The first filter in this tutorial will be Sky Boost. Note that once you click any filter in the panel, all Photoshop panels are hidden. Don't worry, they'll be back after you click OK or Cancel. Sky Boost emphasizes sky color and contrast using a smart mask to keep all other colors unchanged. Use the Boost slider to increase sky contrast, just like that, and the Vivid slider to enrich its colors. Once you're happy with the result, click OK. Like any other filter in this panel, a new layer was created so your original image is left unchanged. The next filter I want to show you is Sky Density. This one adds depth and detail to skies and uses the same masking techniques that makes sure only the sky colors are affected. Just drag the amount slider to set the intensity of this filter. Look how the sky becomes deeper. Again, you click OK, you get a new layer. Green. Green is the filter that gives the green colors a special treatment by letting you control brightness and contrast of greens while protecting all other colors. Let's move it around a bit. Let's lighten up the greens and add some contrast to it. That's it. Now let's see before. Let's move it down to here. And let's see before and after. Before and after. Now let's see what punch does. Punch is designed to increase contrast and color contrast while you drag the level slider to the right. You can use the softness slider to soften the effect a bit and give it kind of a dreamy look. Let's move this around. Well, that's before and that's after. And this is punch. Next filter I want to show you is Balance. Balance is designed to darken the upper or lower part of the image and brighten the other part while you control the gradation between them. See how it works. You drag the amount slider to the right, the upper part of the image becomes darker and the lower part becomes brighter. You can use the spread slider to set the gradation, make it longer or shorter. Use the flip button to reverse it to darken the lower part and lighten the upper part. Just like this. Next one will be Expose. Expose is a nice and very handy feature of this panel that allows you to increase exposure in 0.1 increments. In the camera you get it by thirds. Here you can get it by tenths of an f-stop. You drag to the right to make the exposure brighter. You drag to the left to make it darker. Once you're done, click OK and then you get a layer, just like all filters in this panel. Next filter will be Clarte. Clarte is designed to increase local contrast to make your photo appear more detailed or to decrease local contrast and make it look softer. You drag the slider to the right, you get a deeper image. 
you drag the slider to the left, you get a softer image. Once you click OK, don't forget, a new layer is created in the Layers panel. Now let's add some details. The Details filter enhances texture and small details with additional saturation control. Use the Level slider to set the intensity of detail enhancement. This does a really deep job here. Use the reds desaturation slider to desaturate only reds. Use the global desaturate slider to desaturate all colors of the image. Just click the preview button, see if we're done. Yep, this looks quite nice to me. Last filter of this panel and of this tutorial is Wild Sharp. Wild Sharp will sharpen the image while protecting shadow and highlight details. It is designed to prevent color shifts and halos. The amount slider sets the sharpening intensity and the radius slider sets the width of the edge. This is kind of a small image, so you don't need a high radius. Just about one. And there you go. You sharpen the image without damaging color, without creating any unwanted hellos. Please remember that any filter can apply on the original image, after any other filter in the panel, or on any pixel layer you have in your Photoshop document. That's all for this one. You're welcome to visit us at pskiss.com and learn about our other Photoshop panels, our DNG profiles, and our presets. Thank you for the time. Bye-bye.